Our Lord goes to great lengths to prove His love for you and me. One way He does this is by bolstering our faith through Eucharistic miracles that defy all scientific explanation. Consecrated hosts have been scientifically proven to be heart tissue and have sustained people for decades. In the story I'm about to tell you, even more astonishing miracles have happened. Howdy, and welcome to America Needs Fatima. My name is Adrian Fonseca, and today I have an incredible story to share with you. A story of a real-life Eucharistic miracle. Oh, and if you like what we do here on the America Needs Fatima channel, hit subscribe and let us know. Okay, here's what I know about this incredible miracle. Every single Mass involves a true Eucharistic miracle. When ordinary bread and wine become the body and blood of Jesus Christ. But still, only one-third of Catholics believe in the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. How can this be? From the early days of the Church up to the 21st century, our Lord has given us Eucharistic miracles, allowing the human eye to witness the physical changes in the host after consecration. If people don't know about these miracles, it's up to you and I to spread the word. You can begin by telling your friends and family this incredible true story. In 1317, a priest in Verversal, Belgium, was asked to take the Blessed Sacrament to a man in the village who was ill. The priest entered the house with the consecrated host in a ciborium. He put the ciborium on the table and then went over to speak to some of the members of the sick man's family. Meanwhile, a relative who was in a state of mortal sin saw the ciborium and, moved by curiosity, removed the cover and held the consecrated host. The host began to bleed. Startled, he threw the host back into the holy vessel and he hurried away. Now, I'm going to have to pause here for just one second. When it comes to reaching out to our Lord and Our Lady for their intercession, I think we can all agree that there is something special about prayers offered up at a Catholic Mass. This is why we at American Needs Fatima asked a local priest to pray a daily Mass for each and every member of our Child of Mary group. We have a special intention for our liturgy today for our Mass, America Needs Fatima's Children of Mary. And especially uh, we offer this divine liturgy for Lucy Cosgro for Matthew Long, for Mary Wyman, for Lisa Gibson, for Sarah Hammond. If you want a Mass said daily in your name, click the link in the description box below, or you can click uh, right here. And if you want to learn more about the daily Mass we offer, stick around to the end of the video and I'll explain it a little more. Thank you. Okay, now back to the story. When the priest went to give Holy Communion to the sick man, he found the ciborium uncovered and the host stained with blood. Uncertain on how to proceed, the priest told his bishop of the event. The bishop realized that it was a supernatural manifestation of the Eucharist and told him to take the host to the church of the Cistercian nuns in Herken Road because of the venerable reputation of that community. The priest went to the convent and as soon as he arrived, he described the miracle to the nuns. Then together they entered the church and approached the altar. When the priest opened the tabernacle, he had a vision of Christ crowned with thorns. The vision was seen by the people that were there. Our Lord seemed to give a special sign that he wished the host to remain there. Because of this vision and the presence of the miraculous host, Herken Road became one of the most famous places of pilgrimage in Belgium. The sacred host of Herken Road remained in the church until 1796, when the nuns were expelled from their convent by the French Revolution. In that terrible crisis, the host was entrusted to the care of different families, and was finally hidden in a metal box embedded in a kitchen wall. In 1804, the host was removed from its hiding place and carried in solemn procession to the beautiful cathedral of St. Quentin in Hasselet. There, for centuries, it is kept with the reliquary with the sacred host, which is perfectly preserved without the use of any chemicals. 
The Eucharist is so vital to the faith that Our Lady of Fatima made it a preparation for Lucia, Jacinta, and Francisco to receive her apparitions. She sent the Angel of Peace who gave the children Holy Communion, their own Eucharistic miracle. The Angel told them to offer the body and blood of Christ in reparation for those terrible outrages committed against Him. This is something you and I have to do as well. We see it happen every time we attend Mass, and it's something that we can do even in our daily lives. This is just another incredible example of one of the important messages of the Fatima message. Okay, about that daily Mass I mentioned a few minutes ago. When we started the Child of Mary group, we wanted to do everything we could to help members of the group in their spiritual battles, which is why we asked a local priest to hold a daily Mass for each and every one of our Children of Mary members. Each day he prays a full Catholic Mass and offers it up for all the Children of Mary, filling their lives with these special graces the Mass gives us. We also send each child of Mary a special pin and a free subscription to Crusade Magazine. But in my mind, the Daily Mass is the greatest gift of them all. And that's all for you today. Thank you for watching and may God bless you and Mary Immaculate keep you under her mantle. God love you. Thanks for watching. To save souls, there needs to be more Fatima focused content on YouTube. If you agree and you want to help me make more videos, please join our special Child of Mary group. As a Child of Mary, you'll get a beautiful Fatima pin, plus inspiring reports on America Needs Fatima work to save souls. Click the link in the description below to learn more and become a Child of Mary. God love you.